crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for crackberry.com with the BlackBerry Playbook, and right now we're going to give tethering a try with a BlackBerry smartphone. So this will support tethering through any device, or it'll tether to any device that supports the DUN, the D-U-N uh, protocol, and Blackberries are of course one of them. So let's go through this setup process, starting by, well, enabling Bluetooth, and we're going to make sure you see Wi-Fi is turned off, so there's no data coming to this device right now. From there, we're going to jump into settings. Now, there is an internet tethering option, but you can see there's no Bluetooth devices are available. So the first thing to do is actually pair this BlackBerry Bolt 9780 to the playbook. So we're going to stick that in there. It's discoverable. We're going to search for devices. And it should pick up the Bolt 9780 right away. Pop, 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 9780. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And it's going to give you the whole little attempting to connect thing. So we're going to say yes and yes. And we are now paired. We are complete. So now we have it on there. And we're going to have it when we go back to internet tethering, the Bold 9780. From there, we're going to say we want to tether. Now the first time I added this device, you had to search through your carriers and then I picked Rogers and then it had a profile for that. So now it's remembering that I've previously tethered with this device. So I'm just gonna connect. It's gonna give me that warning about tethering charges. And from there, it'll authenticate. You'll see my blue light start to flash because now we are connected via Bluetooth. And in a few seconds, I will be using 3G data from my BlackBerry Bold 9780 on my playbook. And one of the things we've heard anyways is if you are tethering with a BlackBerry smartphone, carriers should not be charging you for tethering charges because they really have no way to actually know you are tethering on a playbook unless you go and tell them. Uh, so we've seen some, you know, rumored plans on, on Sprint and stuff pop out, pop up out and uh, or show up on the internet. And so far it's kind of like, why is that the case? Because you shouldn't actually even need one from what we can tell. So stay tuned on that, do your due diligence, check the Crackberry forums for the latest updates on, on what this the deal is. But you can see here, we're going to pull up Google, powered by this guy, on this guy. Maybe we'll do a little search for, you know, Blackberry, well, there's Playbook. No, I don't want that. That was quick. Stupid Google. A little search for BlackBerry Playbook Review. And oh, there's Crackberry. Good stuff. So now, I mean, the speed here is going to be 3G, so I'd recommend hey, maybe not loading the full site. Maybe you want to load the, uh, the m.crackberry up, which will be a bit quicker. And while that's loading, and you can see that's a lot quicker, again, we've got multitasking power, so we could go into something like, uh, what's going to use data? The weather. And it's going to pull up and tell me the weather forecast. Which it wouldn't be doing without data, so that's cool. So there you have it, tethering via BlackBerry on the playbook for free because Rogers does not know right now that I have a playbook connected to this phone and neither should other carriers so that's that now you gotta remember though it's not only Blackberries that it'll work with but it is devices, mobile devices that support that uh, DUN protocol for tethering which means this straight up won't the same way we just did it with the Blackberry but you know you can use a mobile hotspot off that and still connect to that device anyways that way so that is all Kevin out Crackberry.com